this week's episode of Restaurants Near Me, we're finally hitting the mountains. We're in beautiful Breckenridge, Colorado, just a two hour drive from Denver. I'm gonna take you to five restaurants in five hours. Let's eat. If you go to Breckenridge, first stop's gotta be Mom's Baking Company. Mom is Emma. She came to the US for the Olympics in 1996, and since then moved to Breckenridge and opened up this place five years ago. What they do here, breakfast, lunch, and European style pastries, specifically Czech pastries. I can't pronounce any of these, but I'm gonna give it a try. So we have Chelebicic. Chelebicic. So basically it's a, it's a ham salad sandwich. We've got <laughs> Vetrenik. Vietrenik. Okay. Then this, I've been told, is very traditional. Trubichka. I must have gotten that one right. Starting off with the open faced ham salad sandwich. Never had a ham salad sandwich. Looks very similar to an egg salad sandwich. I thought for sure these had to be capers, but these are peas on here. The bread is very light and soft. I love it. I would definitely eat this again. I'm gonna have another bite. So it's very reminiscent of an egg salad sandwich, but instead of the egg, they substitute ham. And there is a little egg in there. It's got the creaminess. Um, I'm not sure why they do it open face, but I'm a big fan. So I asked them to bring me a fork and knife, but they said no. They said this is finger food. So we're gonna give it a try. I have a feeling we got another mess coming. Ooh, again, very light. I mean, this is not what I was picturing at all. I thought this would be much denser. Beautiful though. Oh my God, that is incredible. Onto Trubichka. Oh my God, <laughs> it's like picking up a feather. How do you do that? That is, so American pastries are so sweet, so dense. This is so different. And that's probably why we're all overweight. Dude, this place is incredible. If you've never been to Breckenridge before, this alone is worth the trip. And when you get a chance, mama, open one in Denver. Beautiful presentation. It's awesome. Oh, that's amazing. Smoked old fashioned here at Breckridge Distillery. They started in 2008. The guy founded as a doctor actually from Pueblo. And he started with Breckenridge bourbon. Since then he's added gin and vodka. And the restaurant, what they're doing is like modern American. The menu is inspired by world famous chef David Burke from New York City. Uh, they do a lot of steaks here, so it's a kind of a steakhouse as well. Look at this presentation. Unbelievable. We got hamachi crudo. So hamachi is like is yellowtail. So crudo is raw. We got kumquats on there. Uh, gorgeous. And then they brought me a volcanic salt crusted filet. Uh, you got some charred onion on there, a little demi gloss. Look at how beautiful that hamachi is. I'm gonna try and get the perfect bite here. A little kumquat, a little pickled radish, some yam on here as well. That is a 10. It is so cold, so fresh. The flavors are really working together. I love the pickled on there. I would never have thought to put pickled with hamachi. On to the main attraction, the filet. They brought me this beautiful steak knife. But I could have cut this thing with a fork. I mean, you want to talk about tender. If we have two tens, do we have a 20? So you don't think Breckenridge, you don't think upscale, you think like bar food, after skiing food. This place is the exception to the rule up here in Breckenridge. If you're looking for an exceptional dining experience up in Breckenridge with amazing distilled spirits, gotta come check out Breckenridge Distillery. Hearthstone's located right in the heart of Breckenridge in a Victorian house that's 125 years old. This restaurant started in 1989. And what they're doing here is American food with a little French twist. They specialize in game. But look at the presentations. This is incredible. This, they're calling this a spicy latka. We got some house cured salmon on here, lox, and then the rack of lamb. Rack of lamb, I mean, look at how beautiful, how cooked perfectly it is. We have a peach palisade demi-glaze, so using Colorado ingredients, uh, baby carrots, and even in the Yukon gold potatoes, they're putting local goat cheese in it. I don't know if you guys are jealous, but you should be. To pair with the lamb, he brought me a Manhattan made with local bourbon, 
place we might have been to earlier, Breckenridge Bourbon. Yeah, you could chug that. Being a Jewish guy, I love my latkes. If you don't know, latkes are potato pancakes. We eat them traditionally for Hanukkah. That absolutely works. It does have some heat to it. I'm really happy about that. Usually when people say spicy, you're like, yeah, that's not spicy. No, that's spicy. On to the lamb. They use a Colorado lamb here, paired with the Palisade peaches. Love that they're keeping it local. I still hear people say, oh, I don't like lamb. It's too gamey. Telling you, Colorado lamb is not gamey. You're thinking of mutton. Cook the perfect medium rare. Parmesan breadcrumbs. Then you get this Palisade peach demi with the lamb. Perfect combination. So tender, so flavorful, phenomenal. Mimo's Fancy Tapas has only been up for a few months, but they've been getting rave reviews. I look at reviews before I pick what restaurants we get to eat at, and this has a 5.0, a perfect rating, and they have 53 reviews. Unheard of. So cocktail-wise, the way they have the cocktail menu set up is they set up by easy ones, then tougher ones, then the toughest. He brought me two of the toughest, and I'm gonna read these because I don't want you to miss what he put in these. Yes, that's a cocktail. He's calling this a ticket to the American dream. And by he, I mean Alberto, the bartender. What's in this is bourbon. Okay, fine, normal. Cheddar cheese sauce. Okay, now the guy's crazy. But wait, there's more. There's onion syrup in here, barbecue sauce, and lemon juice. Cheers. Oh yeah, and of course, there's popcorn, why not? And I don't know how, but it's delicious. So we never did tapas on this show before because there was no reason to. There was no place doing the real deal tapas. Now we have a place. Come to Breckenridge, go see Alberto the madman. Try the real deal tapas. You got the patatas bravas, you got the lamb, you got the fried shrimp, the croquetas. We're gonna start with the patatas. Really bold flavors on that. Potatoes are crunchy, delicious, unique flavors too. All right, fried shrimp, otherwise known as gambas a la garbadina. Not even close. Shrimp, we're having fried shrimp. Light flaky batter, definitely get that if you come to visit. That's exceptional. And the braised lamb, oh yeah, <laughs> Jesus. I mean, it just disintegrates as you touch it with a fork. I mean, they braise the crap out of this. Yeah, that's what happens when you braise your lamb 16 hours. Wow, now I know why they have a 5-0 rating. This food is amazing. Absolutely worth the two-hour drive. They change the croquettes here all the time, right? Today we got chorizo in them. Creamy, melts in your mouth. Not, not spicy at all. I don't think I'm gonna be sharing any of this. Starting off with Ichiro's, a Japanese whiskey here, Bluefish Sushi. I was wondering why they brought me this, because normally I, I gotta have beer with my sushi. But now I know why. This is a $100 bottle of Japanese whiskey. This is not something you get every day. It is so smooth and delicious. Bluefish has been in Breckenridge since 2019. It's family owned and operated. And look at this display. Obviously, they really know what they're doing when it comes to rolls. So this is called the 121 roll. We got crab stick, avocado, cream cheese, tempura fried and topped with shrimp tempura, drizzled with eel sauce, spicy mayo, yuzu sauce, and top with scallions. That's amazing. Let's keep trying, working our way down all these rolls. Got a little salmon and tuna on top of here. Just a little bit of, of the soy. So some of the freshest seafood I've had in Colorado. And I asked them, you know, what's your secret? And they wouldn't tell me, it's a secret. So they must have a really good source. They must be getting directly, like I'm guessing they got a guy in Japan, like on the down low and then they pick it up at the airport, gotta be. Onto the sashimi, got salmon belly here, one of my all time favorites. Rich and buttery. I mean, it feels like it just came right out of the ocean. Bluefish, way to cap off an amazing day in Breckenridge. From one to the other to the other, we thought, no, this can't be, it cannot be this good. But all five restaurants are incredible. As good as anything in Denver, actually, this could be our favorite episode we've ever done. We'll see you soon for another episode of Restaurants Near Me. Let's eat.